Welcome. This is the energy vibration reading for the Gemini Sun, Moon, and Rising um, for um, the third week of July 2018. For you, Geminis, as we look, the week is the week of a fire energy, and the zodiac energy is going to be water. Okay, so it's um, for you guys, it's an emotional week, a lot of stuff is going to be happening. Um, to you Gemini's in this week um, because there are certain situation that is happening now um, Monday um, it is the energy of an um, an art element which is balance so some of you are going to be working hard some of you are going to be planning things um, some of you are trying um, to balance out certain situation because the energy of the seven of Pentacles is here on Tuesday, there is an energy of uh, whatever has transpired. You have the Five of Swords. Now, this could be communication where um, you have uh, communicate, but I'm seeing um, that this um, situation and whatever the conflicts is on Tuesday, there is a lot of people who are looking at what is, has happened and what you have done. OK, um, Wednesday, you're going to feel as if your energy is out. You need to rest. Um, you should um, take this rest because it's very important for you to take this rest. Um, Thursday and the center of your week is a positive energy because the energy of the Ace of Cups is coming in. And it's as if there's an healing that is coming in. Whatever the situation is and whatever um, that has transpired is as if a healing is coming in. There is peace. There is an offer of peace that is coming in in this week. OK, so it can affect a lot of people because it's in the middle and the center of the week. On Friday, you have an energy of um, a lot of you could be going out. A lot of you be, could be celebrating um, a good start, a good working start. Um, a situation where that has come to an end um, and I'm seeing that the situation has to do with someone who is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius and it is a karmatic situation some of you could be dealing with um, um, a situation that has to do with um, Aries Leo and Sagittarius people and whatever the situation is of was whatever has transpired with these people is as if you finally um, uh, getting rid of them you have won um, whatever the battle was with these people because um, of something that was unjustly done um, for uh, Saturday um, there is a lot of uh, um, um, it's as if um, there are people um, there's a lot of situation that is going on with you Gemini's because you need especially most of you it's as if you have won something but it's a bittersweet winning that has happened it's a bittersweet winning and in the in, in, in you know it's as if it, the winning happened on uh, the winning happened on a Friday but Saturday you're going to be finding um, people coming at you um, not to worry if you're in a relationship and this relationship has ended there is new love that is coming in for you so um, for the people who have been in a relationship and there was huge conflicts in a relationship and that sort of a thing um, there are new um, people that are going to be coming in for you okay there are a lot of offers that is going to be coming at you in love um, if you were in a relationship and this relationship has come to an end in love you are going to be um, finding that a lot of promising um, things are going to be coming out for you overall energy for you guys in this week is the wheel of fortune in the reverse form so whenever the wheel of fortune is in the reverse form this um, means that um, it is a karmatic lesson that has been ended for you. This, uh, whatever the situation is or was, it is a karmatic lesson that has been ended for you. So we are going to put it here. Now let's go in and let's see um, what exactly the seven 
of pentacles with um the um five of swords what is that energy what was transpiring what happened to bring forward that energy so we're looking for the gemini's with seven um seven of pentacles what brought it's going to be coming to an end whatever um situation that was happening whatever um whoever was working against you whatever you were trying um, to do this karmatic situation is going to be coming to an end because the wheel of fortune is also in the reverse form let's see what was this conflicts and why you need to rest you had a conflict with someone who was an um an aries leo or sagittarius you had a conflicts with someone who was an aries leo or a sagittarian and you have won this conflicts whatever this conflicts is or was you have won this conflicts new love is coming and you are going to be on a new journey um you're handing the situation this uh, a situation with an aries leo or a sagittarius person is coming to an end and you're moving forward for some people you are going to be connecting um, for some people you're really going to be connected new love is going to be coming in your life so expect um, new relationships to be coming in your life because um, this is what is going to be um, happening and transpiring for you guys okay let's see a celebration is here and it's a celebration over your enemies you are being protected from whoever and whoever these people was and that sort of a thing you're being protected from these people whoever that um, has tried to stunten your um, growth you are now being protected from these people and it is in a very very positive positive energies and a positive light um being protected from these people because obviously whatever was happening you are finally bring an end to the situation as we move forward and we look you are protected from someone who is an aries okay because i'm seeing the energy of an aries man an older aries man um it's as if this person has brought you in some really really sticky situation in your life and now you are um, ending the situation and uh, you are being protected from this person okay the outcomes is going to be a judgment call for some of you a judgment call and this judgment call is going to be um, information coming at you because you have en ended the situation with whoever this person um, was it's not going to be for all of you because this is a general reading um, for a private reading you can always um, connect via the website okay I want to thank you guys so much for being here thank you for the wonderful wonderful um, supports and kindness and um, let's see what is going to be the outcomes because what I'm seeing is that there's a lot of work that has been done is as if this was a karmatic situation and um, this situation is now coming to an end because I'm seeing that all your work that you have put in there you have won the battle and this is going to um, really come to an end and um, the outcomes is the conflicts and these conflicts are going to be coming because you have decided to end a situation there's a lot of conflicts um, that is going to be coming because you have decided to end a situation and there um, you are standing up for something that was um, in just that happened to you and whatever these conflicts are going to be coming it's a better because something new is going to be coming out so a lot of you who have been in conflicts with you know people who of lower energies people who have brought you in certain situation there is a new beginning there's an offer that is going to be coming in after this conflicts has ended there is going to be an offer that is going to be coming in okay new love is wonderful um, if you guys um, have ended a relationship um, some of you are going to be going on a new journey with someone new in your life new love is coming in and you're going to decide to move on with that person in love some of you are going to um, be receiving um, new offers in love okay um, a message is coming and a message of invitation is coming to you so it could be um, that 
Um, if you were waiting on information, um, if you were, um, if you have applied for a job and you were waiting, um, this message is going to come in. So a message of an invitation is going to be coming in for you in a job situation. And uh, some of you who were waiting on um, documents, financial documents and that sort of a thing, um, you are going to be receiving information about this and it's going to be good. Whatever the, the situation is, um, some of you are going to be receiving message um, over that a blockage was placed. But this blockage um, is now lifted up because you can see that uh, um, this blockage is out of the way. Whatever the blockage was and wh whoever I tried to place the blockage, this blockage has now lifted up and uh, um, you're going to be moving forward and you're going to be moving forward in a very, very positive note. Um, some of you who were dealing with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius lady, um, it is a karmatic situation and this karmatic lesson has now ended and um, they are going to be moving on and you are going to be moving on on a new um, part in your life. Um, whatever the conflicts was, there, there has been conflicts and so many conflicts, but um, whatever this conflicts was, you're going to be receiving a letter. Um, and this, this, this information, there was conflicts in the past about a start, about something that you were working on. Um, it could be, um, it's, 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 it can be for the people who are working, there could be conflicts on the work floor about something that has happened and something that has transpired. And now, um, basically you're receiving a new invitation and this is good. So this could be a new offer. This could be a new, um, this could be a new offer, but this could be something that is new that is coming out. Okay. Um, whoever was dealing with an Aries, um, you are going to be receiving the message that whatever the situation was with this Aries person, um, whatever this person has done in the past, you are going to be receiving message that um, this person has no more influence over your life. And this is going to be um, the end of a situation and in a very, very positive note. OK, I'm sorry. I need to work with another day. So I'm going to Okay, I'm back. So um, we're going to be working with the, the deck of a saints and angel. I love this deck. I haven't used it in a very long time because um, I've moved <laughs> and um, I finally got them. I love this deck, saints and angels, because um, they always bring um, positive energies in. So commitment. You guys have the energy of commitment um, in this week. So a lot of you, um, your guiding angels is either moving you on to commitment that you should commit to something in your life because the energy of an, um, an invitation is coming in. And this invitation is that they want you to commit um, to, um, you know, whatever, um, this invitation that is coming in, they're saying, take this information and commit to it because by doing that, what is going to be happening and what is going to be transpiring is that whenever you commit to this situation, um, there is going to be a new situation coming out. Although you may have um, experienced difficulties or fear, this message is letting you know from your guiding angels to commit and stay in the situation that you're in. Honor your promises to your loved ones and keep your word to yourself and others. If you are feeling um, conflicting about having um, enough time for your responsibility, then call upon the angels to help you. You appear to be worried. Some of you appear to be worried about a decision that you have made or you should made. 
Now, this card is reminding you to follow through on your dreams, goals, and intention. Stay committed to your promises and give them um, the daily attention that they need. Okay. Remember that you are ultimate in charge of your schedule. You have the right to say no um, to whatever other people request or you need to commit yourself. Your angels can help you when you feel overwhelmed or overcommitted. Okay. To receive heaven helps and the aid of heaven. God is he there. You can call upon your angels and guides. You're loved and honored by the creator, which as your best interests at art. Okay. Do not worry about other things. Your guiding angels enfolds you with their loving wings and it's going to help you to enjoy yourself as you accomplish everything in your life and what is on your list. So um, I want to say to each and every person, enjoy um, this week because it's going to be a wonderful positive week in the sense that commitment is a sense of you committing to something in your life. Namaste until next time. 